Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with another wig review and this unit is one that I've been looking for at for a bit or looking for a bit I've been looking for another gray unit and this one I picked up from elevated styles I picked this up with my own Monty hunty and um, I hope I love it as much this one is I've never heard of this brand this one is the sky lace front wig this is a human hair blend um, I will always say if they're human hair blend or not um, and this one's in the color ohm gray um, this is the blue sky 004 I guess that's how this brand does it. They do blue sky and then they number them. So 001, 002, 009, or 010, whatever. This one's the 004. I'm going to get started because I want to see what this beauty looks like. So I'm going to take her out of the package. She comes packaged, uh, very finely packaged, with some tissue paper and the hairnet, of course. Most of them do anyway. Uh, most if not all my wigs come with a hairnet on so this is this beauty right here she actually has a white base under like it's very very white the hair feels amazingly soft um, my hair right now I can't even show you guys because my roots are ingrown there is no dark roots um, which I'm okay with um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the lighter bottom but i feel like it's gonna blend nicely this is the hair right here it feels very very soft it feels full um she is kind of straightened but it curls at the end there um there is just some short bangs as you can see there i'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about her um she is a human hair blend unit and it says it's curling iron safe if anything i would probably just straighten her a little bit more like straighten her um ends because i don't know if i would like the curve well all depending so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the cap construction i'm gonna flip her inside out um, she has a comb on the back, which I like. She has the adjustable straps. She feels like, I feel like this cap is going to be loose on me. There is two combs on the sides here. And there is about an inch and a half to two inches of lace. So you actually can free part it. I'm going to go ahead and push her in. As you guys can see, the hair is actually... Instead of having regular tracks, it's actually a full cap with um, tracks on it. And I feel like this would make it look more natural and flow a little bit better and that you won't see the tracks. So this is a first for me. She, I spent about $45 for her. Um, I will leave, of course, the site link down below. Go ahead and carefully remove the lace from there because she has a lot of loose hairs. I have to be very, very gentile with her. I like saying gentile. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace part, and I will be back throwing her on. Okay, so this is her right here. Um, I clearly went all out with the bangs right there because I prefer a side part. I can legitimately go in with heat and press it so it flattens out a smidge. Um, I'm sure if I keep styling her, I might just get her flat enough. The wig cap feels like it's meant for girls with lots of hair. Um, I don't have lots of hair, hence why I'm wearing wigs, um, but I like the construction of the cap. I like that there's a comb in the back. Um, I wish I could make it a little tighter, but it's at its tightest. Um, I actually like her very much. She is about maybe 16 inches long. The hair, the white hair on the bottom isn't like bad because it kind of adds that dimension to the hair I just this looks and feels natural um it is a human hair blend I've been wanting a straight gray wig 
for so long guys you don't understand um so now i know what style what brand to go for because this feels phenomenal it is so worth that 45 or whatever i spent um i like the feel of it the cap itself um feels like i mentioned before it feels like it, it's got room but it's not like saggy if you catch my drift i do i do just have a bun in the back of my head normally i'll like kind of like loosen and pin it or whatever and that's how i would wear it um i am loving this freaking style i just feel i feel put together with this one i feel very mature but still kind of cute and um i love i i love the bangs i love long bangs this side part i can part it however i want to this right here is loose i'm gonna get up close this right here, you can see it's loose. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go under here with black because I have dark roots. So what I'm going to do is actually go in with some black. And I actually like this side part too. I feel like Cruella de Vil, Latina 2.0. <laughs> what I'm going to do is go in with black on the edging here. And I'm going to go in with some more of a natural color um, powder on the back end. This feels really good. It feels like my head. Um, I could feel the cap, but I mean, I legitimately, she is stunning. I like that I legitimately just went from one side to the other and got to play with it and switch up the look a little bit. I am sure that I can pin her back and kind of make her look natural. Again, this lace part right here you can see it's a little loose. Um, one, The one and only review I saw on it, she also did complain about this coming out. You can always pin your hair, like go in through the weft and just pin the hair um, so that way it can stay. I don't have any problem with my wig staying. Um, I just, this part right here, I'll try not to stretch too much. And again, like I said, so it looks more natural. So you don't see too much of the lace. I'm going to paint that or um, powder that area with a darker powder. I feel like, you know, I'm a CEO of some sort of company and you just can't mess with me, boo. You could try, but you can't. I'm too cute. No, I'm just kidding. She isn't off-putting. I'm gonna actually go in and, uh, <laughs> oh, I love how she moves. Guys, she, I got nothing. I love her. I'm gonna go grab my straightening iron and plug it in and I'm going to actually straighten the ends with you guys. I don't normally style my wigs but because I need her ready for me for tomorrow, we gonna do that now. Iron setting is at 270, it's 270 degrees. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I put my stuff up to like, um, whatever, 380 degrees or 400 degrees so I can straighten it. Guys, I literally just need to fix these ends a bit and that's it. I don't need that massive heat. I don't need to burn the unit. I don't want to melt the unit. Gray's natural. Gray's traditional. Mm -hmm. That's this right here. It's at 270 and the reason why I'm pressing it is because I'm just trying to Keep the part here, because I like it here. So that she's not flopping around everywhere. Which I'm, I'm okay with, to be honest, I'm okay with it. Let me show you guys the front, I'm gonna show you some titties. I'm gonna show you some cat hair too. So this is her, it's everywhere, but this is her again, she comes up to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back of the unit. So I might, I might go back in and straighten this part right here. Show you guys the back. Again, I will probably straighten her a little bit more in the back. Overall, one, I've never dealt with this brand before. Secondly, it feels amazing. It's a little pricier. It's a $45 unit. Um, I think it's more money um, anywhere else. I'm not sure. Again, I don't even know where to find her um, besides Elevated Styles. That's the only place that I was able to find this number of unit. This is the Sky Blue Sky 004 unit. Of course, she's in Ohm Gray. Uh, 
I'm gonna get me another one of these units, probably in a different style. I would want like a short bob of this version, but I don't even know where to start. This unit comes in multiple colors, so if you don't like gray, you don't have to. It does come in black, the 1B24, you know, and it comes in 99J, uh, blue black, blonde. It does come in various shades. Um, I'm in love with her. I, I love all the units that I've received lately. I just, this is what I need in my life. This is what I need. This is my everyday hair. I absolutely love her, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.